Okay, 20D. Now, I think this question, more than some of the other ones here that we've done in, in question 20, is going to illustrate uh, something that's really important here. This parabola right here, because of that negative in front, this one opens down. I don't want to work with that. Okay. Uh, I've got a nice kind of a consistent pattern here if I work with a parabola that opens up. So I'm going to move the whole thing over to the other side of that inequality and make this 0 is less than or equal to positive 4x squared plus 8x minus 21. And now, in order for me to figure out what my inequality is doing, I've got to figure out uh, where it's equal to 0. Uh, this one's a little bit more complicated here, but I, I'm gonna, again, I'm just going to guess and check at this. Uh, 2x and 2x, that's a, a good way of breaking apart 4. Uh, 21 is very likely going to be 3 and 7. Now, at this point here, I, I don't know if this is even going to work. I'm going to try this. So 2x times 7 is 14. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, actually 14. I can combine 14 and 6 to get 8, as long as the 14 is positive and the 6 is negative. So that actually worked. Okay, just me guessing and checking at the answer. I don't know what the answer is. Uh, I'm not working from a key here or anything. So x in this case is going to equal 3 halves, or it's going to equal negative 7 halves. So I take a look at my number line here, and I'll identify those two values. So here's negative 7 halves, and out here is somewhere is 3 halves. I'll put open circles around those. Now, the parabola that I, the question that I changed it to, just by moving it to the other side here, is a parabola that opens up. Okay? I am interested in where this parabola is, is positive now. Okay, greater than zero. So where am I above the x-axis? Well, if I choose x-coordinates to the left of negative 7 halves, then the y-coordinates all pop up above. So part of my solution is going to be to the left of it, okay, to the left of 7 halves. If I choose values to the right of 3 halves, okay, the y-coordinates pop up above the x-axis. Okay, it's only when you're, the only time that this would be negative, if it's a parabola that opens up, the only time that it would be negative is when it's in between those two roots. Now to finish this problem off here, I notice that the inequality is, le uh, sorry, oh, look over here, is this parabola here is greater than or equal to zero. So because it's or equal to, I will just include those. So kind of the lesson to be learned here is if the parabola opens up, Okay, and, and I can always make it opening up by just moving to the side here. Then I'm going to be, uh, if, if I'm looking for where it's greater than zero, it's outside the two roots. If I'm looking for where it's less than zero, uh, similar to the first question here, that would be, sorry, in between the two roots. Okay, and that's, that's how we're going to go about answering those kind of questions.